The sand castle. There it is, I said dreamily. I waited a whole year to feel the smooth, soft sand burrow between my toes. Stop daydreaming, yelled my mother. It was a cool winter day in Destin, Florida. We were walking along the board boardwalk when I saw the beach come into view. I started sprinting down the boardwalk, dropping shovels and buckets along the way. Everyone has something they do to entertain themselves at the beach. Mine just happens to be building sandcastles. We laid out our beach towels and got to work. My uncle and my papa gathered wet sand to make the castle, while my cousin Nicholas and my sister Taryn started to look for shells to decorate the castle. After that, my cousin Anna and I gathered a mountain of sand and started to shape it into a tower. Then, when my cousin Nicholas and my sister got back, they shaped, shaped another one. When we finished building the castle, we dug up the sand around the towers so water could flow around them like a moat. While we were doing that, my cousin Nicholas and my sister decorated the castle with the shells they collected earlier. When we finished the castle, we walked over to our picnic bas basket to have lunch. Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches with pickles, water bottles, and some potato chips. When we finished our lunches, we sat up down for a while to watch the small sky blue waves barrel over one another then roll up to sea leaving a trail of foam and bubbles on the sand. After we got sick of watching the waves we decided to check up on our castle. Not like anything could happen to it. But the waves proved us wrong. The waves reached out their dangly fingers and snatched up the whole front of the castle. We were surprised that even by us building at a good 10 feet from the shoreline the waves still reached it. At least it didn't wash up, wash up the whole thing like it did yesterday, I said, trying to brighten the mood. Let's get to work, stated my uncle. This castle isn't going to rebuild itself. So we did as we were told and got to work rebuilding the towers and the moat. But we didn't stop there. To make sure the waves didn't crash into the castle again, we built a wall of sand so the waves would hit the wall instead of the castle. I think we went a little overboard because we built one wall, then another, and another. My cousin Nicholas and my sister got tired, so my grandpa took them back to the condo and to get ready to have dinner and go to bed. When we were building our fourth wall, the start, sun started to go down, and my uncle said that, if, that we were going to have to go inside soon. But he got quiet as soon as he saw the sunset reflect off the water. My cousin Anna and I thought we had a breakaway, but that only lasted a few seconds. My uncle said we could have five more minutes, and then we would have to go inside. We spent five minutes like there was no tomorrow. When they were up, my uncle kept his word, but that didn't stop us from trying to crack him. Just one more minute, please. But he didn't crack. We got exhausted, so we let him bring us home. The next day, we came to see our castle, to see if our castle survived. It didn't. But the third time's a charm, right? <laughs>